to be a factory R8 that's been turned into a race car. It's pretty neat. The, this is a yeah. It drives. It drives like a normal Audi. One of our favorite clients, Mac Toys, just picked him up an Audi R8 GT4 America. This car, I was told, shares 60% of the parts on the streetcar, which I find to be very fascinating. Uh, we are going to be changing the wrap because this one's, well, not that unique. We're going to make it match Chris's taste a little bit better. Plus, come on, guys. Like, I want to know what wrap shop decides to be the biggest hack in the world. It's just small things like that that has continued me to chase what I would like to see Envision's perfection be. It might cost a little bit more. I might have to use a little piece of black vinyl under there, like this seam. And then we got one on the other side. This is another part where I just don't understand why we needed to put a seam down this beautiful $300,000 race car's quarter panel. I get it's race car, it's gonna get abused, but you might as well make it look like an art project, finish it correctly. What we would have done is we would have taken this black layer, I would have had my guys wrap it all the way up to the top, and then we would have put the red down it, and it would have looked seamless. But instead, these guys were cheap and hacks, and they did a sh** job. The end. So we put a scrap piece of PPF over any badges or anything like that so that we can go over and trace exactly where the badge was. And then you just want to pick like a body line or two so that you can line it up after you put it back on. So I like to put it something um, that's very distinct. So I'll trace out a letter like this. That way I can remove this badge, they can lay the PPF underneath the badge, and then when I go to reinstall it, I'll just line this up with the template that I made along with all the body lines and it'll go back exactly where it was when I took it off. We decided to bulk this one because we didn't want relief cuts here and here. We want as much full coverage on this one as we possibly could so we're not collecting dirt and all that kind of stuff in these seams. So this way it'll hold up better and won't have any dirt lines. This is all one piece. We just stretched a big piece across it, started doing our cuts in there, laid it all in, turned out real nice.
992 is gone, we need to get the R8 out of the way and uh, get the other 992 buttoned up. What do you think? Yeah. Excited. What do you feel about this? Love it. Because from rendering to reality, I think reality is far greater. Oh, yeah. There was parts that you didn't like about it, but now that I see it flowing around the vehicle, it actually fits it really well. The only thing I would change is I do white badges for mine. You do black? White. White badges? White badges. Not anything better than chrome. Yeah, white badges and a grill bezel. Not in chrome and not cracked. That's a race car. Maybe you had a license plate too? <laughs> so driving down State Street? <laughs> dealer, Josh offered me his dealer plate. <laughs> he said I'd come get it. He said I could rip the race car. Let's go. It's got a dealer plate, it's legal. It's got a center exhaust, adjustable suspension. Let's go. here is the Mercedes GTR that we just finished. We did a satin PPF. We did some color matched accents. You can see the, uh, the splitter supports have been powder coated black. What we did is we did the Eventuri carbon intake. It actually replaces the stock plastic ducts and the entire intake system with the actual beauty plate on top. It's a nice piece for sure. What we do have coming is downpipes, tune, and some wheels. You know, this thing's gonna be pretty wild. So uh, yeah, definitely look forward to that. Pulled up to Mercedes Benz of Farmington to pick up our client's new GLS 63 AMG. This is Mercedes' newest SUV. You can get in at a six or a seven passenger, which is absolutely incredible when you consider you get twin turbo V8 ultimate soccer mom hauler, without a doubt. This client was very specific. He wanted us to come down to the dealership, pick it up ourselves go over it and make sure that there's nothing wrong. We're gonna then do a full front end paint protection, some window tint, and I believe we're gonna get rid of some of the little bit of chrome that's left on the car. Oh, green blue lighting and a cool refreshing breeze whisks you away to the seaside. Are you in? I'm in. Let's go to the seaside together.
up everybody i'd like to thank you for watching the video make sure you stay tuned next week we're gonna have videos coming out every tuesday make sure you like subscribe we're gonna be coming out with some really really cool content appreciate it